Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here in this video, we'll be doing a white with neon and Swarovski crystals and a dragon type of set. So as you can see here, I am going in with my protein bond and applying that to all the nails. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Also, do not forget to follow me on any of my social media. It will be linked down below in the description as well as any discount codes that I have available and as well as any products that I used here in the video. So here, as you can see, I'm going in with my Young Nails speed white and i'm going to be applying this to every nail except the pointer finger And then as you can see here, I am going to go in with my Young Nails Speed Clear. I am also using a number 10 brush from Nail Supply Glamour. And I am also using my Me Secret Monomer.
And then here on the pointer finger, I'm going to go in with my Young Nose Protein Bond. And I'm also going to go in with the Mia Seeker Pink and Purple from the Neon Collection. And I'm going to marble these two colors. And if you guys want to know how to marble, I will link down below my tutorial on how to do that down below in the description. So make sure to go check that out. So then here I'm going to go in with my Young Nail Speed Clear and I'm going to be encapsulating this nail just so that when I'm filing, I make sure that I'm not filing none of my marble off. After I'm done with application, I do go in and file and buff everything. Obviously, I didn't record that process, but I did record, as you could see, me applying the crystals, which I love. So as you can see here, I'm going in with my Zule's Bling Adhesive, my wax uh, pencil, and here I'm going in with the SS10, and I will be applying one to the pinky, the thumb. So then here in the middle finger, she did let me freestyle, so this was kind of, of a freestyle set. And as you can see here on the middle finger, I am going to go in with a emerald cut in the middle. So here as you can see, I do turn my client's hand just to see what it looks like as if she was she was seeing it. So that's one thing I do recommend and I do want to give you guys a tip for is always make sure you look at your client's nails in different angles. Because here as you could see, I had to take it off and apply it again just because it was crooked and I didn't, you know, I want my work to be good and that's one major thing you want your work to be so as you can see here i'm going in and applying my zule bling adhesive again and i'm going to i'm going in with my emerald cup and i am flipping her hand you can't really see i did get a little out of frame but here's you can see i am fixing it making sure that it's nice in the middle and aligned and symmetrical Then here as you can see, I am going to go in with a SS6 and I am going to apply two of those at the bottom of the emerald cut. And then here as you can see, I am going to go in and apply a SS4 at the bottom of that and I am going to repeat the same step to the top.
And then here, as you can see, I am going to go in with my Mia Secret Activator, applying that to all the nails that have the crystals. And I'm just going to repeat that same process to the other hand. And another tip I want to give you is to always make sure that you are making sure that both of the nails, if you're doing the same design on the other hand, making sure that they're even, even, even. That's one major thing here, as you can see, I am moving it around and I had to take it off and put it back on just because that is one major thing you wanna do when applying your crystals, making sure that they're even and symmetrical on both hands. As you can see here after my crystal application i did go in and start cutting out the water slide decals and if you guys are wondering where these are from these are from underscore gg nail art on instagram i will also leave her website down below in the description as well as my discount code so that way you guys can save some money and i will also leave it right here on the screen so here's you can see i'm just talking with my client asking her if she wanted them to go the same way the opposite way um this is something you always want to talk about with your client because you never know what they want um, even if you don't think it looks good, it, it is what your client wants. So, as you can see here, I am cutting them out and she did want them to go the same way. So, you will see me cut out two of them that go the same direction. And here on the far bottom left corner, you can see my uh, dapping dish, I guess you could call it. So, in there, I did have water. So, as you can see, after I'm done cutting them, you will see me... Um, add them in there as you can see right now and I am after that I am gonna cut out the other one So after I applied the water slide decals into the dapping dish of water, I went in with the base coat which is from Sensational Nail and I did this to both the ring fingers on each hand and I cured it for 60 seconds. After I did that, as you can see here, I did go in with some tweezers and took out one of the decals and I did get a little out of frame so I do apologize for that. So definitely comment down below if you guys want a tutorial on how to strictly just apply water slide decals and as you can see here, um, I was trying to take off the backing off it which usually comes out fine and then I put it on the napkin and pat it a bit just so when you apply it you do not want to apply it too too wet so as you can see here after I patted it down a little bit on the napkin I did go in and apply it on the nail and what I did I just gently patted it on the nail just to make sure that there was no bubbles on there and after I will go in with my Madame Glam no wipe top coat as well you can use my code to save some money and it will be on the screen also linked down below in the description and i did cure that for 60 seconds
So then here as you can see, you can see it a little way more better on this hand that I did. So I took it out and took off the backing. As you can see, it comes right off. But you also do want to be gentle. As you can see here, I did place it on the napkin and you will see me pat it a little bit. But you will see that the like the dragon's tail, it did curl. As you can see here, I was trying to fix it. So I did go back and try to fix it as much as I can because you don't not want to get it stuck and obviously you want to have the same age the same image on both fingers so you will see i pat it down a little bit try to fix it and then i apply it to the nails you can see here and you want to make sure to make it as even as possible as the other nail you will see here that it's still it's still kind of like messed up so you can see here i do go gently in and pat it and try to fix it as much as i can then here you will see that i grab her other hand to make sure that both of the nails are even as possible and symmetrical as you can see here i do put both of her fingers side to side and then here as you can see i did grab my tweezers so that way i'm able to fix the end of the dragon's tail because when i removed the backing it did like fold on me a little bit so that's another thing you want to be careful with so definitely comment down below if you guys want a tutorial on how to apply these water slide decals and here as you can see this is what it looks like always make sure to ask your client if it looks okay if they like it so then here as you can see i am going to go in and just keep patting it a little bit just to make sure that it's okay and then i am going to go in with my madam glam top coat So then here as you could see I did care that for 60 seconds and then here as you could see I'm going to go in with the cotton pad and I did apply alcohol on it and I'm just cleaning the nails making sure that they don't have any dust on them or any residue from the activator that I applied and I am going to go in with my Madame Glam top coat. And I did cure that for 60 seconds and then here as you can see I'm going to go in with my Nails by Safi Fruity Cereal Cuticle Oil and I will be applying that to all the nails and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely comment down if you guys want to see more tutorials and also comment down below if you guys want to see a water slide tutorial on how to do that and apply them. I hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to like, subscribe and comment. Also do not forget to turn on the bell so you know if every time I upload and do not forget to follow me on any of my social media and see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.